Now I'd like to talk about how to play the long bunker shot. So I'm talking about the bunker shot, which is in excess of 30 yards. This is a tough shot, there's no doubt about it. That 30 yard to 50 to 60 yard range is tough, even for tour professionals. What I'm going to do is change the club I use. I'm going to use the same technique as what I would for a normal explosion shot, but change the club. I used a sand wedge for the explosion shot. Now I'm going to change to a 9-iron. Sounds a bit strange, but Sebi Ballesteros did it and he went bad. So we'll try it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the club face up. So I open the club face, so that now points to the right of the target. I then put my hands on the club. Now my hands are going to be positioned slightly to the left of centre. They are not positioned straight down the middle. I don't do that. I don't take my grip, then open the club face. I open the club face first and then take my grip down the club. Very, very important. Now from there, my feet are going to be a little wider than usual. I need that for stability. The ball will be positioned in line with my left heel. So it's a long way forwards in the stance. My feet point to the left. Club face to the right, feet to the left. Okay, from there, I'm trying to hit the sand that magic two inches behind the ball. If you can master that, hitting the sand in the correct position, a couple of inches behind the ball on your bunker shots, you'll have it nailed. Okay, so, by using a club with less loft, the ball's gonna come out further. I do exactly the same technique as what I did for my normal explosion shot. All I've done is change the club. Okay then, here we go. So, I'm in position, and I hit the shot. It's just like that, it's, it's a simple way to make a really tough shot a lot easier.